Welcome to Taming the File Cabinet, a Paperless Essentials for Lawyers. This is a Clio webinar presented by Josh Willinen, the lawyer in residence in Clio, and Ernie Svensson, uh, the founder of paperlesschase.com. Uh, if you need to know a little bit more about your instructors, I'm Joshua Lennon, and I'm a New York admitted attorney, and I've been the lawyer at residence for Clio for the last two years. And in this role, I've spoken with tens of thousands of attorneys. I've helped study the practice of law and applied legal scholarship to Clio to help create it as a better product for you all out there. And joining us today is our guest speaker, Ernie Svensson. He's the founder of PaperlessChase.com. He is a Louisiana-admitted attorney, and he is a speaker, blogger, and author of PDF Essentials for Lawyers. Uh, you've probably seen him on uh, your local conventions or at ABA Tech Show, where he is one of the members of organizing that. Uh, a great person. Um, and you've probably also heard him referred to as Ernie the Attorney, the name of his long-running blog. Um, and his Twitter handle is right there, Ernie Attorney. So please feel free to also reach out to him and use the Clio web hashtag. Ernie's going to be talking about how small firms can smoothly create a paperless office, taking him about 40 minutes. And he'll cover such topics as the benefits of being paperless, what do we really mean by paperless, what you should keep as paper rather than uh, turning it electronic, and also some recommendations for tools, file formats, and file naming. From there, we're going to take some of his tricks and show you how to apply them in Clio, going paperless in Clio. And then lastly, we'll take your questions at the end. So please feel free to type them in at any time. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to Ernie to introduce himself and tell you a little bit more about going paperless. Ernie, control um, the presentation thanks, is yours. All right, great. Th thank you. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm really excited uh, to be here today to talk to you guys about this topic because um, this is something that's near and dear to my heart, and um, it's helped me tremendously, and I know that it will help you. Um, we're going to talk today about something that can save you a lot of time, a lot of money, uh, lower your stress level, and give you more freedom in how you practice law. But one of the things I think that's really important that we don't tend to focus on as much when we're talking about going paperless is the idea that it lowers your stress level. And it really does, and we'll talk about this. So what we're going to talk about today um, are some of the benefits, but we're going to start with the nuts and bolts of you know, what a paperless law practice is and then how to best create one. So if we're thinking about creating a paperless law office or going paperless or however you want to phrase it, the real question we want to ask ourselves and start off with is, why should we do this? Why should we be creating a paperless law practice? Are we not happy with the practice that we have currently?